guys Renee here at Bargain Hunter Thrift Store we're gonna do another unboxing video there's gonna be some stamps comic books some really cool rock and roll magazines uh, tour books more trading cards I mean this is I don't remember any major finds I didn't realize but it's a fun little video I hope you guys enjoyed we go through more boxes we never looked at them and let's see what we find make sure to take that opportunity to support us give us a like a like down there that really makes a big difference to us makes good for the channel the more likes we get the more videos we do if you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe enjoy hey guys we're gonna start with this box just because it says on the side somewhere here random comics on the bottom 1 11 18 that's kind of weird that can't be the date because that would be like just like a few months ago anyway uh well maybe i don't know maybe there was something at the end or oh, it's from a different facility check this out manhattan mini storage People ask how far away do you buy? We actually bought a storage unit in Manhattan Mini Storage through a friend of ours. And um, he called me with this, told me the story. And he said, do you want me to buy it? He bought it, went through it for us, like most of the stuff, and then shipped us all the jewelry. So a good shout out to my buddy Bobby out there in Jersey. He sent that to me. Like probably like 20 boxes like that. It was a pretty good deal for us. Okay, uh, these are just books. The Destroyer, The Destroyer, Destroyer. I'm just gonna move these really quick. Oh, you know what? It says 118 because I think these destroyer books actually came from a deal. And I put these aside to special price them. And uh, my girls probably just made a note saying there's comic books on the bottom of this box. And so I know in case I'm looking for comic books. So I have never seen this box, but somebody must have filled it. Let's see, we got the destroyer. Actually, nah, maybe not because they're all destroyer comic books. See, half of this business is just guessing what the hell is going on. These are all Destroyer. I don't know. I'm not familiar with those. They're newer books. I don't think they're going to be crazy valuable. Destroyer. Another Destroyer. Destroyer. And some packs of Bazooka, which are rock hard. This box has some trading cards in there. I figured we'll look at that really quick. I know some people don't like it. But let me check the video really quick. Make sure we're in the right spot here. Okay, go down a little bit more. Oops. Okay, there we go. So uh, some people are, are not crazy about it, but look, guys, when I do these unboxing, there's not much plan. I mean, I'll pick stuff what I what I think I can see, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I mean, that's what the live is, you know. This could be all random stuff. This was laying on top of there, so I just added it. Or on the bottom could be 86 Fleer basketball. I just don't know. That would be awesome if we find it. I might be yelling weirdly, but hey, that'd be awesome. Cosmic cards. I've never seen any of these before. These are packs of Pocahontas. In a nice holder. That's actually kind of cool. Except it messes the cards when you're trying to get them out, so not so cool. Get rid of that holder. 1989 score baseball. 99 cents a pack. Uh, superstars. We had these before. We sold them for 99 cents. They sell okay. More Pocahontas. Never had this before. Toys with candy eggs. Oh no, they're full of baseball cards. 1990, 1999, and 1991 Bowman. Star Trek cards. These we sold really well. We had a lot of these. We're selling these for a dollar pack. They were selling like crazy. We're down to our last box. And that looks like there's different stuff in here. Space art. Fantastic commemorative set. Lime Rock. Never seen it before. Probably not worth anything, but... Somebody might pay a buckle pack. Heavy Metal. I think that's the Heavy Metal magazine by Comic Images. Probably 99 cents a pack, but again, we double check these. A little bit of Richard Petty in there. I don't think these come, I, th I think these are from something different. The oh wow, look at this. Killer cards. Monkey sli slicing up a man. Vacuum of space. That's kind of different. This might be worth something. Another pack of the DC comic cards. Factory sealed. Oh, this is cool. So we got the comics, the first editions. Actually, you know, this box is interesting. I've never seen this box before. The Savage Dragon. Let's see. Itching powder. Oh, that's funny. I can't use that on Tatiana. And then here's Savage Dragon collector's packs. Special prism cards in this series. Let's open one of these. Let's see what kind of quality they are. 1992 Eric Larson. Okay. 
Watch, I'll find a super rare card. My hands are dirty. I should be like collecting those hobbies right now. And, um, and have my, uh, gloves on. So I guess we're looking for some sort of prism card. So this pack, people will probably want to know what I'll do with it afterwards. I'll give this to some random kid walking in the store. Tell him Merry Christmas. Savage Dragon, whole box. At least a buck a pack, maybe more. Top Stadium Club, Batman Returns. It's like two stacks and a stack of Dream Machines. So I would sell. These probably should be like 99 cents, $1.99. Oh, that's some old one out of 1990. I thought I saw some old boxes. I almost had a heart attack. <coughs> Terminator Judge 2 Judgment Day packs. Cool. That was a nice vintage. That should be a couple dollars a pack. Then 1991. Maybe 99 cents a pack. I don't know. Don't quote me on these prices. I say some prices what I think they are. But trust me, before this stuff goes out, we check every one of them. Uh, Dunruss Baseball. One Tops Hockey. And this is Upper Deck Baseball 91. Superstars sealed. These are 99 cents a pack, I know that. It's an interesting one looking down there. Uh, Premier Baseball OPG, that's Canadian, it's a little bit harder to get. The OPG stuff, we had in the last video, we put those boxes out, I think at 30 bucks a box. They were the complete sets that sold the first day. This is interesting. Ken Kelly collection number two, fantasy art and trading cards. And there's some Vertigo, uh, Vertigo trading cards. Those are all cards. And there's a little bit down here of the Ken Kelly collection. <laughs> fun, it's fun to go through this stuff, right guys? X-Files, brand new seal, 45 bucks, season three. Let's see. Probably autograph cards would be cool. I don't know if they did them back then. They're made by Tops. Uh, 3D Holocrom Chase cards, etched foil chase cards, Paranormal's finest, Chromium chase cards. Yeah, that's not bad. At least a buck a pack again. Like I said, this stuff adds up really fast. Doesn't sound that exciting, buck a pack. But you know what? At a buck a pack, that's probably 500 packs here, so it's a $500 box. Alabama football. Alabama football. Derek Thomas. Let's see what's in here. Just says Flair 1999 factory set. See if that's still in here. Yep. I mean, condition 1990. Tops baseball factory set 1989 complete set. Jose Canseco. Interesting. 1991 score set. I'm not going to pull it out. And he's an, another 1999, a 1990 player plus a bunch of more Pocahontas stuff. So that was really cool. Let me clean this stuff up. We'll get another box. Guys, I pulled four more boxes. I thought a lot of this stuff was just right when the store closed down, like late, late minute stuff. But obviously that's not right after doing more investigation. We found a secret wars in boxes like this. So this actually looks like, look at this, Alice Cooper. Raise your fist and yell tour. I just ordered supplies for all these to cover these. So all these will go in the store next week. The Monkeys 87 Tour, Cats, Eric Clapton, uh, cool, 20 years after, so all tour books it looks like, Monkeys, Bob Dylan, so a lot of stuff will probably be in a 10 $20 range, Rod Stewart, the Rolling Stones, American 281. It's kind of cool. Ringo Starr. And that's a magazine. Obviously, Paul McCartney. California Jam 2, March 1978. First printing, official program. Tari Motor Speedway. Borna, Hard. Dave Matt Mason, Ted Nugent, the Nuge, Rubicon, 
make sure I hit play in this video. Hold on one quick second. There we go. We are playing, you guys are watching. Oops, some books fell. Felco Hip Pocket Records from Felco. That's kind of cool. Oh, let's see what we got here. Young Rascals, The Happenings, John Fred and his Playboy Band, The Doors. Never had these before. These are kind of cool. Hip Pocket Records. Somebody Google these for me really quick. Go check them up on eBay. So by the time I list them, I will check them. But if I can get a comment where somebody tells me what they're worth already, I appreciate you. Okay, here's just some signs. Uh, let me see. Eh, maybe for one comic book kind of interesting. Probably can use those. Robin Hood packs. And Empire Strikes Back New Yoda series box, but totally beat up. Coin holders. It's like miscellaneous. I wonder if I went through this box before. Oh, these are stamps. Let's see some different. I don't think there's nothing super rare here. Austria, $3. Eh. We'll put these in folders too and sell them. I'll probably do a follow up to this Arizona Highway magazine. Oh, stamps, check these out. Three Stooges, that's cool. Those will sell. Actually, stamps sell pretty well in the store. All Stooges stamps. That was all cool. That's, that's a nice little, okay, stamps, I like it. Dated material, American Association. This is more stamps. U.S. First Day cover. Also, if you have an interest in buying stamps at face value, I probably have like $11,000 worth of stamps at face value. And I don't even know what I have, but it's like it's like a take all type of deal. If not, I sell them individually in the store. Liberia, presidents, interesting. Majestic stamp album. Uh, it looks like a little bit of stamps in there, probably 10 bucks. Stamps and I what they used to be. My dad used to have thousands and thousands of dollars in stamps. Empire Strikes Back, that's the box. This is stuff, I don't know. this must be something the girls put together. There's People, People Magazine cover, George Harrison. This says, Atten oh, attention Renee. Well, let's see what they want to pay attention to. So this must be stuff that came in from different deals, and as they go through stuff, they just put it aside. Union Pacific Railroad Timetables, Weight Pocket Handbook, Set Alliance Rules and Regulations, this stuff is cool, Rock Island Timetable, Amtrak, Slides from St. Louis, Missouri. Do not bend. That's cool. Basic Army Administration. It's from a unit. It's too new. People don't really buy those. Sometimes they do, but if they do, it's only like a couple of bucks. No on Pacific Railway. That picture's pretty cool. Look how they have the roofs on top. I like it. And then Railroad Photo Album. Some vintage photographs. That's cool. And another vintage one. Kind of interesting. That's a cool little box. Let's see what's in here. Probably more railroad stuff. Oh, it's for Sinith Harris Catalog Stamp Collector's Guide Catalog. Stamp Finder. Cool little stuff. Oh, stuff is falling, I don't like it. If you have a thrift store, people bring you donations, and then whatever we don't want, we just give to the church stores, which is usually 90% of it, but every now and then you get a cool donation. Astro City Magnetic set. Kind of cool. These look like comedy books. So like now I said, I expect these to be newer books, but from what we've been finding in some of these last boxes, who knows? The Thing. Filmation Snow White Adventure Continuous. These are cool. All Snow White pictures. I mean, this is a whole press kit, it looks like. Um, 
Sorry, I hope you guys can see these. But even each one of these pictures right here, there looks to be about 20 of them. I'll get like $2.99 for so that's 60 bucks right here. But I'll look this up to see if this is <coughs> worth anything on eBay. Sometimes it's actually great, too. If these are only like 10, 15 bucks, you pick them up on eBay and then sell the pictures at three bucks a piece. Let's see what kind of comics we have here. American Greatest Comics, $7. Whew. Steve Ditko, though. Fun Comics, Kissing Chaos, Mr. A, Lady Demon. So I'm not that good with the newer stuff yet. I mean, I'm not good with any of them. I'm trying to learn. But the new stuff, I mean, I know I'm looking for Walking Dead number one, obviously. And number two will be good, too. Um, I don't know what time period these are. Let's see. These are 2000, so I think Walking Dead was in the 90s, but... Don't quote me on that. I don't want nobody getting mad that I'm quoting the wrong stuff. Shadows, The Crew, Human Torch, Ultimate Spider-Man, G.I. Joe. So these must be stuff that came in or what's going out in the last days of the business. G.I. Joe, Spider-Man, Legend of the Spider-Clan, 205. Uh, it's stuff I put out. It still will sell for two bucks a piece. We'll actually have the girls bag and board this stuff. We just ordered 10,000 bags and boards again. We'll bag and board these. Batgirl 34. Iron Man. But this stuff, people still buy. Like you see, like they have cover prices of... Um, even this Bat uh, Spider-Man Legend of Spike, the Spider Clan is cover price. Um, 225 So people still buy it. Uh, spawn. Nightwing. Okay, this box is not that exciting. If you guys happen to see one that is super rare, tell me. Hey, Renee, pay attention. I still will try to check some of these, but these just don't look like it. Transformer the War in. Oh, Gen 13. So somebody told me these Gen 13, you have to pay attention. That's something early. Is that what it was? Gen 13, number three, it's Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby. 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 Not easy being a German. I'm just trying to speak English. Hawkman. Black Panther. Inuyasha. Several copies of everything. This is an interesting cover. Marvel. From Marvel. Pizza, beer, and video games. Just like what? The perfect girl? She brings pizza, beer, and video games? And a football? And a smut video? Wow. I want to meet her. I mean, I have Casey. I'm very happy. This is actually Casey. <laughs> no, actually, Casey's pretty cool. So, uh, I'm trying to save my ass here. That's actually a really cool cover. That's <laughs> like, that's just funny. Wouldn't be surprised if that would be worth a little bit. I don't mean it made. Project Arms. So, I'm not going to dig every comic out of this box. I mean, it's a lot of new modern stuff. I'm going to put one of these aside just to Google it. Um, we have two more boxes here. So, I'm doing this video just to release one. Because we're in Vegas for a trade show all week. And I didn't have time to work on videos. So, maybe not the greatest video. But I hope you guys still enjoyed. You're going through, through with me. And this is a first-hand experience for all of us. All right, let's do this one next. Make sure my frame is still halfway decent. Okay, right above, so perfect. Oh, this looks like a bunch of paper, but what does this say? Contents, one counter display, 50 display cards, five buttons, one poster, 1999 Marvel Wham. Wild Agents of Marvel, huh. So this looks like some sort of store promo. Let's see what's in here. Wham wants you. Yeah, you can sign up. Official WAM recruitment officer. Okay. Looks like there's some WAM posters with Wolverine. And here's the store display. I don't see any trading cards in here. But uh, I'm not going to unpack this because this looks like it's brand new, never been unpacked. Now, these things are funny. Could be worth five bucks, could be worth 150 bucks. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's for some of the trading cards, since there were supposed to be trading cards in here, which 
Oh no, the display cards. They're talking about the mail away cards. So these things, I mean, you usually can't buy this. You have to have a store. So you have to own a store owner and they get one or two of these usually. So now the question is if collectors got excited. Um, it's nothing. 1973 stockholder. Oh, that's funny. Uh, old paperwork, paperwork. Matator, 1974. Old magazines. I mean, this is old newspapers out of the California area. Interesting to read. Don't think much value. Just a tin of menu. This seems like high school stuff, to be honest. Just feels like another. Wham, 1991, not a countertop display. Handkerchief, let's see if it's related to anything. Almost looks Boy Scouts, doesn't it? So, oh, Cup Scouts. Cup Scouts, old vintage handkerchief. That's probably worth at least 10 bucks, maybe 20 or 30. We got one and two of them, nice. Okay, school paperwork. So that's nothing. We're gonna go through really quick to see if he has this amazing Fantasy 15 stacked in here somewhere. Another one. School paperwork. I used to have these folders too. Still. Homework. A little bit of advertising. <laughs> nothing. Stickers and stamps. Happy holidays. It's just down here. Hallelujah. Yeah. More paperwork. These are letters that were sent in 1963, Honolulu, Hawaii. Okay. 63, I should read one of their Vietnam. I mean, it's the right era. Tops Big Baseball Cards, first series. Looking for the year 1989. Old huh. film, most people will pay for that stuff. Um. Pops White Vision coming to summer Star Wars. Let's read one of these letters. With airmail, statehood, Hawaii. Something else here. Hawaii, Hawaii. I'm not gonna read this, but I'm gonna check really quick if it's military nature. Oh, this is just old postcards and stuff. It's nice. Yeah. Actually, some of these postcards you want to go through, people actually collect these. Plantus peanut butter oil. It's a few dollars. Like all this advertising, people like that stuff. I'm not, I'm so, I like some of it, but not all of it. This is cool. Old postcards. So this I'll go through a little bit closer later. But because I and just the reason I'm not going through everything with you guys is because I think most of it is probably gonna be no good. The thing. One more box. I think this is more comics. Okay, let's see what we got here. Sketch, you begin with an idea. Volume one, number two, Todd McFarlane's Secrets to Spawn Success. So I'm assuming that's Todd McFarlane. I don't know. I mean, I've seen older pictures from him. Star Wars, this is cool. June 2000 is coming. So this is like a 2000. Again, those other comics seem to be in the 2000 era too. The Gene Cornell annual painting with pencil book. It's kind of cool. It's probably worth, worth a little bit. Then we have <coughs> Blood Legacy number one. Darkness number 24. Let's see what we got here. Darkness, Fathom. Michael Turner's Fathom, I'll probably mispronounce that. How to Draw Mander. Oh, that's cool. My daughter actually is learning how to draw Mander, but not that. Not that Mander. That Mander is fine. That, no. So, oh, yeah, definitely not this one. Oh, yep, nope. Okay. Now, let me rephrase this. She likes how to draw, like, Japanese animations. I don't know if Mander is a key word for, like, sexual stuff, but this actually looks cool. Yeah, no, this is fine. This other one, whew, did you guys see some of those pages? Uh-huh, 
crouching, falling on the knees, falling over. Okay. Yeah, a little nudity. Too much. Um, this stuff is okay. This is just fighting. I might have to double check this, but here, I'll show you the other one again. This one extremely inappropriate, so... You know, uh, yeah, no. Not appropriate for this one. Not getting that one. Um... And I bought us some magic books in the past, so I gotta make sure there's no problem. Posters. Does it count? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, I see some sign stuff, I think. Black, white, and red. Year of the Dragon, collector's edition. Oh, here's a sketch cover. So now I know a lot of the books, especially the early stuff. I mean, not, I don't say the early stuff, but the early image stuff. So what they would do, they would release something new. And that's kind of would really hurt comic book collecting a little bit too. So you buy this book right here, black, white. Let me see this. I think this is the same issue. I don't see an issue number. But what they would do, this is a number one. Let's see this really quick. I mean, I'm probably going to sound stupid anyway. But first printing. I don't see an issue number. So so what would happen? They would issue like four or five different issue covers. You know, one is the girl, one is the guy hero, one is a battle scene, one is a chrome, one is a foil, one is a hologram. And then they also do these sketch covers. And a lot of times these sketch covers are the, the hardest ones, the, the lowest run. So all right, here we go. So Dynamic Forces issues so this copy. Black and white number one. 4,000 copies. So since it's an independent image, um. That's probably a lot, but I'm still going to put it aside, check it out. So, you know, you might buy number one issue, and there'll be like 20 different covers you have to find. Oh, some interesting stuff. So, here's another red flag. Darkness. Kapuki 9. David Mack. Then right here, this looks like Lady Death. Millennium number one, premium edition, limited to 3,000 copies. He had $15 on that. Here's a Lady Death. That's a Lady Death and Foil. No issue number, nothing. Certified, though. 500 copies, so that's a lot better. Put that aside. Uh, I've seen a bunch of the Lady Death stuff. It seemed to be popular. Here's Darkness. No certificate. Number one, Fan Club Edition. Okay. Darkness, Blood Legacy, Plate. FS, number one. So here is Darkness, number 32, Year of the Tra Dragon, She, tour book, Life, Art, Area. Huh. Oh, some cool stuff. I'll give this to my daughter again. She, she loves drawing. I mean, she does pretty much what she does every day, all the time. She draws all the time. She's ex extremely talented, so. Uh, you know, by the way, somebody made a comment about my daughter that was referenced with tampons and all kinds of stuff. Really rude. If you're mad, if you want to make a comment like that, you actually should go to the person and say it face to face. Like, putting it on the internet like that just makes you a coward, so. And gets you a bunch of bad karma. So if you want to make a comment and saw somebody like that be really rude about somebody's daughter, you probably should do it face to face. Just say, I'm going to leave it at that, so. Because I don't read idiots, but obviously we banned that person, so you can't see our stuff anymore. These are cool, um... Made by M. Nelson, then number two issues, I think, The Darkness. Some kind of exclusive foil with dies. Pretty cool artwork. Put that aside. It's actually a cool box. We'll find some cool stuff in the tour books. Uh, Warlands, number one. Chrome edition. Collector's edition. See, like image, every other book is like an edition, you know, so... And then they just kind of up the price. Witchblade Collector's Edition. Deluxe Collector's uh, Deluxe Collector's Edition. Oops. So, I don't know. That's pushing. That's taking advantage of collectors too much, I think. But some people love it. Some people love those special issues. And, you know, the one thing I would say about the ho about hobbies in general and people is like, look, it's your money. Spend it on whatever you want to. You have buying power. If everybody wants it, the price goes up. Goes up. If nobody cares, guess what? You'll see one discount. Deluxe Collected Edition, The Darkness, The Darkness, Witchblade, Fancy Ties, Collected Edition. These all seem to come straight from Diamond. So you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. 